Hello, this is Mom by Lon, and today we are going to learn about Philippine bills and coins. The objectives of our lesson are the following. First, identify the Philippine bills and coins. Second, read and write money in symbols and in words through 100. Can you tell what are these symbols? The first symbol is what we call the peso sign. The second symbol, which is like a letter C and with a slash, it is called the centavo sign. These are the symbols we use to write the value of the Philippine money. Now, let's take a look at our Philippine coins. These are the coins we use in the Philippines. Can you name each coin? What is the name of this coin? Yes, we read it as one centavo. We also write it this way. Peso sign, zero, decimal point, zero, one, or one and the centavo sign. How about this coin? Yes, we read it as five centavos and we write it this way. First, the peso sign, zero, decimal point, zero, five, or five and the centavo sign. Next is the 25 centavos. And we write it this way. The peso sign, zero, decimal point, two, five, or 25 and the centavo sign. What about the name of this coin? One peso. And you write it this way. Peso sign, one, decimal point, zero, zero. Next, five pesos and you write it this way peso sign five decimal point zero zero and this coin is the ten pesos coin we write it this way peso sign one zero decimal point zero zero let us proceed to the philippine bills these are the bills we use in the Philippines. 20 pesos. You write it this way. Peso sign, 2, 0, decimal point, 0, 0. 50 pesos. You write it this way. Peso sign, 5, 0, decimal point, 0, 0. 100 pesos. You write it this way, as a sign, one, zero, zero, decimal point, zero, zero. 200 pesos. You write it this way, as a sign, two, zero, zero, decimal point, zero, zero. 500 pesos. You write it this way, as a sign, five, zero, zero, decimal point, zero, zero. And 1,000 pesos. You write it this way. Peso sign, 1, comma, 0, 0, 0, decimal point, 0, 0. Great job! Now you already learn and identify the Philippine bills and coins. Let us learn some more examples. We have... One twenty-five centavo coin. We say twenty-five centavos. We write it as as a sign zero decimal point two five or twenty-five and the centavo sign. Next, we have one ten peso coin and one twenty-five centavos. We say. 10 pesos and 25 centavos. We write it as 
That's a sign. One, zero, decimal point, two, five. And we have one twenty peso bill and two twenty five centavos. We say twenty pesos and fifty centavos. That means two twenty five centavos is equal to fifty centavos. We write it as peso sign two zero decimal point five zero. So, what did we learn today? We learned about the Philippine bills and coins. For us not to forget our lesson, here are the things to remember. We use the peso sign to show the peso value of our money and the centavo sign to show the centavo or centavos. In writing the amount of money, we use the peso sign and the decimal point to separate peso from centavos. Decimal point is read as end. So, the last example will be, we read 15 pesos and 25 centavos. How do you rewrite it in symbol? First, we write the peso sign. Next, the peso value, and that is 15. Next is the decimal point, and last is the value of the centavo, and that is 25. So again, we read it as 15 pesos and 25 centavos. So that's all for today. Thank you for listening, and I hope that you will tune in to our next video lesson. God bless you. Bye-bye.